All right, we're on to example two. This time we're going to do what's called a stem and leaf plot. And we're going to do it for the data below. All right. Now, I've already drawn two lines for you. And we call one side the stem, the left side's called the stem, and the right side's called the leaf. Now, if we look at our numbers, we're going to look for the, root, the lowest numbers, and the lowest numbers are 4 and 7, and they're one-digit numbers, right? Now, the number 4 could also be written as 0, 4, and the number 7 can also be written as 0, 7. The reason I'm doing this is to make sure that all the numbers are two digits. Now, the number on the left is called the stem, and the number on the right is the leaf. So we're going to go stem is 0, right? And we're going to take the number 4 and the number 7, and we're going to write them both on the leaf. All right. Now let's go up to the numbers in the tens, and we'll do these ones in red. So we've got the number 12, 12, 15, 17, and 10. These are all in the tens units. All right, now remember the one on the left is your stem, and the one on the right is your leaf. Now because they all share the same stem, which is 1, We only write the stem once. It's the leaf that changes. So we've got the number 0 and 2, 2. So we're going to go 0, 2, 2. And then we've got a 5 and a 7. 5, oh. Whoops. 5 and 7. Okay. Um, notice that the leaf needs to go in order. Let's do the next one in green. We're going to look at ones in the 20s. There we go. I couldn't find my pen. 23, 24, 29. So our stem will be 2. And we've got 23, 24, and 29. All right, and the other two are 31. So we're just going to go 3. And there's two thirty one, so we'll do the one twice. So this is quite useful because when you look at it, you can see that more of the results are in the tens, and then the second best would be the results in the twenties.